Hello. This is a just for fun video. I've never used my uh, Samsung pad to record a video before. But I thought that because I'm happy with my uh, new adventures, I'd share them. As many people, I'm not a uh, overly wealthy person. And I can't uh, spend frivolously like I would enjoy doing. But uh, ever since I got uh, my Canon uh, 40D, I knew the value of a tripod, which was this one. However, I decided when uh, they were having the sell-off, I decided to get a new camera, being the what is this? Seven seventy-seven D. And uh, I knew that I needed something a little more capable because of uh, the video capabilities now. Which is uh, why I decided I deserved a new camera. Now, uh, I don't have the money to go out and buy one of these $1,000 uh, tripods that other people have money for but uh, I found this little thing and I thought uh, considering it was much more expensive than what I spent on this thing basically about 10 years ago it would probably be worth the investment and the adventure to try something new now this uh, little slick or whatever, S-L-I-K, was uh, well worth the investment. It's paid for itself over the past 10 years. And uh, now it recently got an upgrade itself. No, it uh, didn't come with this top plate. Counting the stop plate, technically this thing would be about a $60 investment now. The top plate was $20. But the top plate gives you a fine adjustment. Not super fine, but fine enough. Adjustment for macro shooting. Which is probably what I'm going to end up using the tripod for now. Because the height is about perfect. And with the lens length, which is still mm, three to four inches on its own, or I have other ones, and with the reverse lens mounting, I have lenses just as long as this. Uh, 18 to 135 that's on there. I have a 28 to 135 that I got with my uh, 40D. So I'm probably going to be using this setup for macro shooting now, which is how they label this one as if they're trying to market it for macro shooting. Or maybe they're labeling as macro because of the size. Either way, it's a uh, beautiful little system it has a uh, quick release mount included in it it has a handle which was the whole reason I wanted something different 
because that was the only thing that was lacking in this. It didn't have a handle. I guess I probably could have replaced the screw knob with a handle. Bought the handle separately and, and screwed it in. But uh, for the same amount and investment, you get a fine, far more uh, innovative top with more features. You get uh, a little bit of height because it expands to 22 inches. And uh, it's quite the funky little unit, which is why I thought I would share it and have a fun video so that people such as myself could learn and invest in their own photography experience and adventure without investing hundreds of dollars. at, uh, what is it, BH Photo in the New York, in the New York, in New York, um, this tripod retails for about uh, $36 American, which will vary, you know, depending upon what day it is, what it will cost when you translate it. Uh, transfer it to Canadian dollars but uh, there's quite a bunch of innovative features in this little unit so considering how much I got out of uh, this little unit over the past 10 years I know I'm not wrong in advising you to invest in this little unit which has uh, more features, greater height, and thus greater possibilities. And it's not big. It's not big at all. So the only thing that I can say that would make this wrong for you is if you uh, function in a particular way and this doesn't suit your needs or you can afford something far more uh, expensive, invest a greater amount of money. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm very impressed with this considering I just got it, uh, let's say 12 hours ago. Finally, I managed that. Okay, now back to this. Because this, after all, is just a fun video. And a test pilot for the Samsung tablet. There. This piece was bought separately for $20. And this is the original tripod 
that I upgraded. That's the whole reason that this piece was bought. Didn't even contemplate the fact that it would go on this uh, tripod until after it was received. But didn't uh, contemplate the holes or know that they were all there until after it was received. I was planning on drilling it and sticking it on a piece of wood. $60 investment to further my macro shooting and uh, well not counting the camera a less than $60 investment to further all my other shooting and that about sums up the total equation here but uh, I imagine that gives you a bit of information to make new choices for yourself I would highly recommend this little uh, Felbon uh, tripod it's a complete kit And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I know I'm not. But I don't know if I'll actually ever need to buy another one. Because it seems like that little aluminum piece of equipment is built to last. Now maybe the plastic isn't, but we'll have to wait and see. Only time will tell.